Good afternoon and welcome back to the Refreshing Point. Today I'll be sharing with you how baking soda may help reduce rheumatoid arthritis. It's important to your overall health to maintain a proper pH balance in the body. An environment that's too alkaline or too acidic can result in a wide array of health problems and negative physical symptoms. Experts say baking soda can help to alkalize a too acidic environment in the body. Many holistic and naturopathic doctors, as well as nutritionists and dietitians, tout the idea that an alkaline body environment is better than an acidic one. And while that's true in general, it's important to note that being too far at either end of the spectrum can result in medical issues. The Journal of Immunology published a study which concluded that drinking water mixed with baking soda could possibly reduce someone's chances of getting illnesses such as rheumatoid arthritis. Paul O'Connor, Ph.D., an associate professor at Augusta University in Georgia, who was the lead author on the study, introduced baking soda to two cases of test subjects. These test subjects included both healthy humans and rats. After two weeks of the baking soda and water mixture, Scientists found that their immune cells, macrophages, appeared to change jobs. Researchers said that the macrophages began to focus on reducing inflammation instead of promoting it. Essentially, the baking soda acted as a way to naturally stimulate or turn on the macrophages' anti-inflammatory response. Illnesses such as rheumatoid arthritis could benefit from these anti-inflammatory properties. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, basically tells the body to calm down its autoimmune response. Instead, it helps to strengthen the anti-inflammatory response. So cells from the spleen and stomach can tell a faulty immune system that there's likely no need to turn itself on, only to attack. The baking soda seemed to alert microphages and mesothelial cells that the body wasn't under actual attack. The researchers noted a shift from autoimmune and inflammatory actions to anti-inflammatory ones in the stomach, spleen, and kidney. The shifting landscape is likely due to an increased conversation of pro-inflammatory cells to anti-inflammatory, plus the production of more anti-inflammatory microphages and a shift to regulatory T cells. This combination of processes drives down the immune response and could help to keep the immune system from attacking its own tissues. This could be an inexpensive, safe, accessible, and effective way to treat conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases, but you should always talk to your doctor before starting a regimen like this. People who are in danger of alkalosis wouldn't benefit from ingesting sodium bicarbonate or further alkalizing their body's pH levels. In addition, research has discovered that maintaining sufficient vitamin D levels may help to prevent rheumatoid arthritis. Baking soda is potentially a really safe way to treat inflammatory disease. While there is no miracle cure out there, there is a reason that home remedies like apple cider vinegar and baking soda have been around for ages. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.